Hello, welcome. Chinese. Now, I treat myself to my favourite things from the Chinese. Not um, a meal as such, but me, my favourite like appetisers. So I have to share them with you. So let's get them out. You collect these from our Chinese and you get ten and then you get a free meal. When you get ten of those. That was watering. Probably won't eat all this and we'll save some. Open the first favourite thing that I like from the Chinese. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> It's this, yeah, this one. That's one of the second. <sighs> How cow. Can you see the steam? So that steam dumplings with prawn. Oh, I just love these so much. And I've got some seaweed. It's literally just been delivered. So that's why you can see the steam. And some quite plain. Egg fried rice and my favourite um, rib, I have to think then, salt and pepper rib. So I've got chopsticks and a fork, so what I like to do is I like to put some rice, like that, I don't know if you can see it. And then I like to put the seaweed. Favourite. Um, and I sort of mix it together. Seaweed and fried rice. So that you dead far away. If you can see it. We need to get one of them bowls now. Mm. I'm just love the combination. Mm. Salt and pepper in. What I love about these is my bite size, small. Just perfect. Mm. There's some kick to him, but they're not too bad. I'm so hungry. Mm. Yeah. So if you're fam not familiar with seaweed, it's not seaweed from the sea. <laughs> I'm probably saying to me, at least that we know. If you're not familiar, <coughs> it's just deep fried cabbage. Mm. Oh, it looks quite dry. But I just love this. I do like sauces. Mm. Mm. They're so lovely these. Mm. I can't really see the food. Put it so far away.
some pepper to the bone <laughs> I should have done a nice display shouldn't I saying that right I might be completely wrong it's um H A R K A R Hargal but I don't, that's how they pronounce it I'm not gonna do this with my thick because it's so slippery Let's see. I know they look like shells and they also look like jellyfish <laughs> but they're absolutely amazing let me just take a bite not from the Oh my god. I've not had these rated. Oh. And it looks a bit pale. And you're thinking, what the hell? Who's that? Is that? Let's see I've got a bit of um, hoisting sauce. I'm going to dip it in it. I can't really pick them up with my um, the chopsticks because I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll cheat. Here we go. So you can see. In. Lots of thumbnails going on here. <laughs> mm. oh. It's amazing how they make them. I know they don't look at anything to look at. But they're so tasty. I believe they have these for breakfast in China. Um, <clears throat> dim sum. I can't imagine them having for breakfast. But if you're not used to it, or you're used to it, look at that one. They're like short ribs, aren't they? Mm. It's 
pulled off the bone. Mm. I'll get help with these, don't we you worry. I'll have some more later. <clears throat> But if you've not tried those, how go? Give it a go. I can't remember the first time I tried them. Hands are clean, by the way. But I remember trying them for the first time and I was like, mm -hmm. look weird. The taste is amazing. No steamed buns. I don't know if you've seen the steamed buns with the pork inside. Like a, so a soft bread. And that's another one where you like. But this is sensational, them. <coughs> More stuff. I know this isn't very exciting. I'm probably thinking, what the hell? <laughs> but, they're like my favourite things in the series. Let's see. Another thumbnail. Good ASMR. Hmm. I'm weird like this. I can eat things on their own. Like I could eat a plate of roast potatoes and gravy, and that's it. I'm weird. <clears throat> my rice. A bit closer. It's not the best in the world, but you know, there's always bits of Chinese. I found I've got my favourites. This is one of my favourites. <clears throat> but we also have, have another Chinese near me, which has the best rice. So you'd be driving, imagine that, driving around everywhere, getting the best of the best from each Chinese that you like. <laughs> well, <clears throat> they're my favourite ribs. Salt and pepper. And there's some restaurants. Takeaways. But the salt and pepper ribs are huge. No, not a bit, but and thick and take forever to eat. But I love these because they're dinky. And you can quite devour them in minutes. <laughs> like I said, it's not going to waste because I will nibble at these and my children will have some and I'll finish them. Because even though they're like, like that, they're quite, they're quite filling actually. I'll put the lid on. I'd like a Chinese near me to have those ones that you have in America. You know, like the um, at Panda Express where they have the boxes that the, in um, Lost Boys with the rice. I've always reminded me of that film then, boxes. Adults have one of them boxes. These are quite well in these trays. Mm. So good. Anyway. Hope you enjoy that little video of mine.
I'm not going to put it as a mukbang because it's not a mukbang. An eating show. I don't know why I'm still recording, putting it all away. It's tidying up. Tidy up time. Keep them warm. And I shall carry on nibbling them through the night. Well, not through the night, but through the evening. So I hope you enjoyed that little one. Well, 15 minutes goes so fast. Time flies. Hope you enjoyed. See you soon. Ooh.